Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today with an Ear in Spottiswood Bible. Yeah, you heard me right, Ear in Spottiswood. You know, back in the day, they were like Cambridge, Oxford, Collins, Ear in Spottiswood. As a matter of fact, Ear in Spottiswood was considered to be one of the best publishers of fine Bibles in the world. They were like the king's printer kind of thing. This one is in Persian Morocco. And I'm going to tell you, I got it used someplace. And I could have bought another one just for $16 of Moroccan leather and Mediterranean blue. And I didn't because I couldn't justify. I've got one and I just couldn't justify buying it. But I really wanted it. But I left it out. But you can see this one's still got the beautiful gold edging. It's semi yapped It only has one ribbon marker here. Persian Morocco. Um, I'll get my... Cambridge Bible that I carry with me that's a great size. You can see this is a much better size. And this is called the uh, Clear Back. We're going to look on the inside and make sure I've got that right. Clear Back Edition. And uh, it, I'm just going to tell you, it's probably as good, maybe better, than any Bible I have ever found in with a center column reference in large print in a small Bible. I, man, if if somebody can get a hold of these plates or something, they need to to uh, get a hold of it. This is actually art gilt. It's the salmon red under gold, which is a sign of fine Bibles everywhere. Again, semi yap. So let's take a look through this thing. That's where it says says it's $9.95. I don't think I, I don't remember how much I paid, but it's got several pages in the front, like cardboard. That's the help, the backing, and then the nice Bible pages. London Ears and Spottiswood Limited Harper. We're gonna show you that in here. I'm also gonna show you where it says it's Persian Morocco at the very front, right down at the bottom. Always liked how they did it, kind of in a scroll thing. Bibles are special. You, you've got to remember, a lot of people died to get us the Bible. And so, and it, it's central to our faith. So it's something that should be uh, valuable to us. Clear black. I am so sorry. Printed in Great Britain. I've had this for many weeks, kind of in the shoot to, to uh, show, to review. And I kept doing it, so I'd kind of I've forgotten some things that I had studied about this Bible over the course of time. But see, it says it's India paper. We'll show you that clear back edition, clear, clear black, excuse me, kind of like the Oxford black face, clear black, printed in Great Britain. I don't know what it is about the British, but you know, you get them with double barrel shotguns and Bibles, they are in their wheelhouse. I mean, they are making the finest in the world, or some of the finest in the world, of those particular things. I know Cambridge. Now, here's what I wanted to show you. Just look at this. Um, we'll go to Leviticus. The print with the center column reference in this small of a Bible. Never seen anything like it. And it is clear. Now, it's not deep and dark, which is probably good. I think it's lined very good because there's very little ghosting. So the lining is just outstanding on this. And I mean, just read, I can read it. And I don't have great eyes. And thou shalt number seven Sabbaths of the years unto thee, seven times seven years. And the space of the seven Sabbaths of the year shall be unto thee forty and nine years. I mean, so just great. Now, it doesn't have a ton in the way of references. Um, as you can see, like I'll turn to Jeremiah. It does have the page headers at the top, but it doesn't have them internally. It doesn't have paragraph headers. It does have page headers. It 
And I just can't recommend this Bible more highly. I don't know if one of the Alan Breviers uh, matches up to this thing or if they're using some of the same plates. But, uh, and not only does it have all this printed in England by Ear and Spot as Wood Limited, Her Majesty's Printers London, but look, it's just got this huge thing in the back about helps to the Bible. So it's the best size Bible I've ever seen with center column reference way better than a cameo. Now, if I had to have one thing I didn't like about this Bible, it would be that the print is not quite as dark as the cameo Bible. If you can see, it's got like a concordance, extremely lengthy concordance, but then uh, this is like a glossary or Bible dictionary kind of thing. Commentary, more like a handbook. So this is just a great Bible. What can I say? And uh, just very complete concordance. Extremely good maps. Let's see if it's got them coming out of Egypt through water. Of course not. Or does it? It's hard to tell. It's kind of smaller. How stupid of me to think the nation of Israel came out through the Red Sea. That's really bad. Bible maps don't have Israel coming through the Red Sea. I think I know Israel came through the Red Sea. I'll show you an example of these maps. You can tell they're really good. They look like the old Abingdon maps. So this is just a great Bible. I'd encourage, if you can ever find one, an ear and spotted wood. I guess it was distributed in America through Harper Brothers. I mean, gold edging, art gilt, Persian Morocco. Just great handling Bible, tremendous size. I keep meaning to get a ruler I'm going to bring out here and tape measure, but you can see it's, it's thinner than this Bible. So I did a video on what's the best Bible to carry to church. I would say this may be one of the best if you've got anywhere near decent eyes. That one right there. The Holman Thin Line back in the day, ultra thin, tough to beat. Um, and the Cambridge large print, tough to beat, but overall this one's just great. And it's, cause it's got some center column reference, concordance in the back. It's a little Bible help. You know, if you take it on the road with you, if you're spending the night in a hotel room, you've read the Bible, you can start reading some in the glossary, the Bible, the gospels, you know, the epistles of Paul, the general epistles, you know, just kind of got a, a good little, uh, the greater prophets, you know, like a little Bible handbook, read through some things. It's probably liberal, but you can spit out the sticks there. So the Ear and Spottis Wood, clear black edition. God bless you. I'd, I'd advise you to get one if you can.